Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, and beautiful things happening within the Blender Foundation, Blender community, and also Blender as an app. And this week, we have a ton of announcements that you guys would like to see and a couple of features. So we're going to start off by talking about Blender 2.83.8 that is now available. So if you're using or if you're within the guys working with the LTS, the Blender 2.83.8 version is now here. This comes with 16 fixes and so far, this is the most stable tool that you can get. It's simply rock solid compared to other LTS releases that you have probably seen. And if you want to get this, if you're using the Windows Store, you'll be able to get that. If you also want to get it from Steam, it's available. And for the Linux guys, you can get this on Snap. Now, moving on, there is also another announcement. And the next announcement which you're looking at is the fact that Blender 2.91 beta is officially here. So we covered a bit of an extensive video that had to do with it. So if you want to see that one, link is going to be in the description. We went ahead and talked about some of those tiny little features that were implemented for the beta release. And if you look down here as well, you would notice that Blender 2.92 Alpha is also here. So it's more like an announcement, announcement, announcement week. And we also have a couple more announcements as we proceed. So 2.92 Alpha is here. Now, following with the timeline that they made available to everyone, the folks at Blender Foundation have been keeping to time. As we can see that right here, we have the 2.91 and also the 2.92 you know, it's also coming at the exact time. Going through 2.92, you would notice that there is literally nothing too much that is available. And yes, Beacon 1 is going to be running all the way from now till November the 25th. And if you also want to see a rundown of the schedule, you want to know when things are going to happen, this is it. Although the schedules are preliminary, so right now you can see we have Beacon 1, Beacon 2, Beacon 3, and the final release of 2.92 will be February the 3rd of next year. So if you would like to wait for that one, then of course you should wait that out. But if you want to start using this and you want to play with some of the updates that would be coming in, of course you should check back on this. As, but so far so good, with just the announcement of 2.92, there are certain things that are already creeping in. So if you look right here, you would notice that for the Grease Pencil, we already have a brand new option. You know, they released this thing yesterday and today we have a brand new option, brand new, you know, update which is super cool. And you would also notice that we have another brand new update for Cycles, which is the multi-threaded export of geometries to improve performance in scene synchronization when there are many mesh, hair, and also volume objects. So without further ado, actually, let's jump over and take a look at what 2.92 looks like. So if you're opening 2.92 for the first time and you have 2.91, you can choose to import your previous settings so you don't have to do these things back and forth anymore. And if you open up 2.92, you literally see it like, you know, it, it looks very basic like what you get but if you've not seen the update for 2.91 and some of the tiny features that are now in 2.91 you actually think that these features are brand new to 2.92 of course there are certain things that will not make it to 2.91 that we talked about so you should check out that video and see and one of the cool things which is from 2.91 that you can also see here is if you choose to search for a word so let's look for something that looks like scale for example so if you type the word scale, you can tell where scale exists. So we already talked about this one, you can see that. But then, if you wanna see even more cool stuff that is, you know, here in 2.92, it is the experimental stuff. So in 2.91, we talked about the fact that with the beta version, they took out all those experimental features since they are now in Beacon 3. So all of those experimental features that were not finalized, all of those things that had, you know, that looked like major showstoppers, they took all of them out and hopefully they'll be implemented in 2.92. So if we switch over to 2.92 and go over to edit, go over to the preference, and let's just bring this down, you would notice there is a lot of stuff. So we now have the sculpt mode tilt support, which is part of the experimental feature. So you can go ahead and try that one now. You also see an update to the prototypes that we actually looked at before. Previously, we only knew that we were going to get a new hair system or a new hair type, which would work with the node. And we also knew that we would get, you know, the new point cloud, but also we are seeing the new geometry node. I just pray that this actually makes it to 2.92 as it is not 
definitely looking like it's coming for 2.91 and then if you choose to switch from here and go over to the sculpt room you would notice that we have some brand new icons right now but then if you check out 2.91 you would notice that we just have the basic stuff that are working and yes he also did something very incredible so one of the cool things that pablo have done is he made sure that the cloth brush actually worked even way better than we saw in the previous week so he has improved the soft body influence setting and now this is really really based on plasticity so we already talked about that but there is a better improvement for that and there is also some tiny tiny improvement that has to do with syncing of face set visibility and there is also a very tiny improvement that also deals with the overall sculpting pablo is working on the smooth brush so now you can smooth the surface and also preserve the shape of the surface for the loops that define certain details like crease and also hard surface edges it looks like 2.91 is already wrapping up as the pre-release is going to be in november the 18th and then the final release would be on the 24th of november every other thing that you need here the documentation are coming together everything seems to be you know wrapping up fairly nicely except for the add-ons there is no updates for the new add-ons that will be coming to 2.91 yet but so far so good 2.91 had a good run and you know a huge shout out to the folks at blender foundation for all of the tiny and impressive new cool features that they've implemented with this coming release and we have a pretty cool news as blender foundation is now an official associate member of the chronos group so just in case you have no idea the chronos group is an open industry consortium with over 150 leading hardware and software companies creating advancement and royalty free you know stuff so the folks at Blender Foundation have now joined them. As associate member, the foundation would be able to participate in Kronos working groups for open standard used in Blender. So things like OpenCL and OpenXR and, you know, those other stuff that they plan to support in the future, like Vulkan, you know, they would be able to walk through these things and see how this can be implemented as well. And this membership also gives the foundation direct influence over the development of graphic standards like the OpenCL for sure this would also influence how AMD cards will be used to do GPU rendering directly in Blender so if you're excited about these things if you want to take a look at them link to all of this is going to be in the description so you can check these things out so this week is more like announcement 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 and it's just very interesting to see that we're getting about three variations of Blender tools coming out in one week my best advice, if you're working for production, simply stick to 2.8, 3.8. If you want to test out the cool new features that will be shipping with Blender 2.91, then get the beta and if you want to follow up with the development and see what's happening maybe you're not so production driven or maybe you just want to play with the tool then you can follow up with the 2.92 tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace